It seemed like an eternity since I was eating breakfast at this god-earthly hour. But porridge was a slow release of energy and exactly what I wanted for the long day ahead. I managed to pack my bags the night before, both boots and walking sticks ready. And off I went, left the house, into my car, and what was going to be an exciting two and a half hour journey. So here I am, back on the road, heading north towards my beloved Lake District. I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a, a bit of a shock to this system, this has. Well, 4, 4 a.m. alarm call, but finally heading north to the Lake District. I'm not sure what to expect today. Uh, in terms of weather, it's quite a mixed bag actually. A lot of wind forecast, better rain, fabulous stuff. It's what I've missed to be honest. Now, I'm intentionally taking the A591 through the heart of the Lake District. I could have headed north onto the M6 and turn west on the A66 but no I chose to choose the A591 go through the middle of the Lake Districts I'll be passing four lakes this morning just to just to take it all in. This day was not all about the hike and the photography but the sentiment of my return to Lakeland. I wanted to share my excitement of finally being back in the place I call my second home. A reunion of an old friend. So it's about sunrise. The weather is typical Lakeland weather. Windy, very windy, a bit of rain, but this is a sign <sighs> Jesus, look at the motion. We're approaching the sign which is synonymous with me. And that is Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Taking it down. It's usually the sign which welcomes you to the Lake District. Oh well. Oh dear, right. We're finally here. I think we're finally here. I'm just waiting for my first sight of Windermere. Windermere. Welcome to Windermere. I haven't seen it yet. We're definitely here. A bit of flooding going on. It's nice. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? What's that? What's that? What's this? Oh! Look at that! We are! We are here! We are here! Oh, it's very moody. Very moody indeed. And the levels are very high as well. A splash! Oh, man. Oh, oh, God! Oh! I passed Rydal Water and Grasmere and was still heading north in the A591 past Thilmere and already the mood was developing. I was just itching to stop and get out and breathe in the air. What greeted me once I did stop was more than what I bargained for. Oh, 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 this is difficult. So, it's like someone's trying to tell me, we're not quite ready for you yet. Stay home. It is absolutely horrendous. Driving rain, 
very strong winds. It's probably the worst weather um, I could wish for in terms of videography. And obviously it puts a, a down on the photography as well because it, it, it impacts me focusing concentration. It really is hard work. Uh, I brought a couple of telephoto lenses today. I've got the 70 to 200 and also the 600. I can't promise anything. Uh, oh well. <laughs> At least I'm here though. Despite the potential, it was still a battle due to the conditions. I was looking for an opening, but the high water levels put a stop to that. That's just done it for me. I right, fancy the swimming all. I walked down to the banks of the lake, trying to find something, but there's no clear opening. I wanted to use my uh, telephoto, my new 70 to 200, but nothing really stood out. Um, plus, constantly being hit by the driving rain, so. Oh, my mood's not the best at this moment. It's trying, you know, when you're building something up, you're looking forward to something, a big day. I shouldn't really complain because I am still here, albeit not on the fells. I'm still in two minds. The thing is, yes, I could head up to the fells all day, but I want to enjoy it as well. I really don't think it would be an, an enjoyable affair at all. Nothing worse, as I said, uh, in terms of videography and photography than driving rain, horrendous winds as well. Um, so at this moment in time, I'm a bit unclear what I'm gonna do. I just need to dry off a bit. I'm gonna have a bit of a coffee see what happens it's what it's 20 past nine lots of time still it was October 2020 since I last felt the lake when fells in my boot a spot of wind and rain wasn't going to stop me To be honest, the rain subsided, but the wind was relentless, and its ferocity made filming very difficult. This cluster of trees held my attention throughout most of the hike. All it needed was that little splash of light just to bring out the image. I still ventured on to complete my intended five fells in the day. Photography wise, there were limited offerings, other than later in the day, where the light appeared towards Skiddo. I managed to fire a few shots off using my telephoto lenses.
puts me back but let's put it let's say it wasn't the most welcoming weather I'm jigging that's a knacking right I'm gonna drive back but before I uh, get home I'm gonna drop off and collect my double cheeseburger and large fries right, okay till next time keep smiling look after yourself bye bye for now